this was ours. We ruled this land. We owned the night. But man rose up against us. We were overthrown. For centuries, hidden away in darkness. Tortured by thirst. Choking down dust. Starving. Until now, our hunt begins again. Hey everybody, Cameron from the Game Coop. Today we're taking a look at V Rising. A game which I initially thought was sort of like an adventure game, an RPG of a kind. And while it has aspects of that, it's really much more like an open world survival simulator. Sort of in the or like a, well, I guess sort of like Rust or DZ maybe, but seen through the filter of like League of Legends. If that makes any sense. Well, we'll see. I have played it a little, a couple hours, just to sort of get an idea for what actually type of game it is. Um, primarily, it's probably actually best in an online scenario. However, delightfully, if you want, you can just pick a private game, which is what we'll do today. Um, there's PvP, PvE. Uh, PvE, you're not able to injure other vampires. And then PvP, you are able to injure other vampires. And then there's like full PvP which if you die, you drop all your stuff. So it's sort of like really leans into the, hey, we want a bunch of people to play the same map at the same time. And look, max concurrent players can go up to 60 vampires on the same map. 60 different players. Bit wild, isn't it? Um, I'll turn that back down to four for no particular reason. Um, I think we'll start a new world though. Camera. There we go. And we'll do PVE because we'll be playing by ourselves for now. Um, and there's a bunch of interesting things you can do. There's like the different rule sets, um, which I didn't understand at first, but like we'll probably just be playing with the standard rules. Nothing really fancy or changed. Um, but you can also set it on easy. Enemies steal less damage or easy to kill. Let's place more resources and items. Or hard. Or if you want, you can even skip some of the in um, early game stuff, like very initial early stuff, jump to mid game or jump to late game if you want interesting so like you can pick up wherever you want for the most part on a brand new world interesting interesting there's also advanced settings if you want to set everything yourself and i was looking at this i'm like this seems wacky like <laughs> it's just like these are all the things that hurt you and you can turn them off if you want like hey do you want to not have sun damage or silver damage or garlic damage you can just turn it off interestingly um but then yeah like whether things are bound to you or like so when you die they come with you that's what this actually means not like um not like wow or something where other people can't use it uh, as far as i understand <coughs> um you can teleport stuff because like you can't teleport resources probably just to make it that's sort of the point um and there's just like a mazillion different things that you can manage and I had no idea what these were going into at first, so I was just like, okay, I have no idea. <laughs> so we'll just, like, start. But, again, you can even, like, do some of the early game, late game stuff. Crazy. We'll just do we'll just do standard. Nothing crazy. Nothing strange. We'll just get started right away with a brand new game. Starting up. No, I think the characters are bound to the world that you make, so it's not quite like Terraria or something like that, where you can have multiple worlds and multiple characters. Um, but... Yes, it's fine. <laughs> um, but you can still have several of them. And you can sort of you can have a male character or a female character. and You can do whatever you want. You can randomize it a couple times. Wow. Look at these lads. 
Ooh, what a fancy devil. We might go with something like this. Maybe we'll change it up a little. Hair couleur. Do we want to give him an accessory? Ah, those like ear things. I think you can also buy more of these. Look at those glasses, nice. Do we want glasses? I don't think it's truly necessary. No, we'll just roll with this. Valentin. Okay. Valentin, let's go. As you are, you magnificent bastard. Now we've got to wake up from the pit. Whoa, very fancy wake up. So fancy we destroyed our own bed. Nice. Uh, here's our day-night cycle. Lots of night, very happily, very little day, thank goodness. Being a vampire. Um, so there's two different resources. This is like your blood pool. If this goes to zero, you die because you're out of blood. And you're too thirsty, too hungry. And then of course there's your HP, which is like your vitality or vigor. If this goes to zero, you also die. You can heal this with this, but... You've only got so much. Look at us waking up in the middle of the day. Ridiculous. We'll just find our way out of the pit here. And so there's a journal, which will help a bit. Yeah. To enter the exit. And it is daytime. So if we were to go over here and say, oh, look at this beautiful sun ray that's just right here. This is very nice. Oh, oh, it's very toasty. And what'll happen is we'll sort of build up sun until when we get too much sun. We start getting roasty toasty. All right, so what it wants us to do is collect bjorns. We've become in combat since we've been detected. And you can see it's sort of League of Legendy here where you can sort of maneuver to avoid combat a bit. Ten bones. We need a bit more. Look at this guy. He's got a an arch on him. Or in the sun a bit there. Hello, friend. Can has bone to close, I think. Couple extra bones over here as well. That's enough. We'll claim bone sword. So now we can craft a sword. We'll open up our inventory, move on over to crafting. We have precisely enough for one bone sword. Careful now, careful. We only have 10 liters available frail blood and we're at 4.7 of those. Oh my god. But we've got a bone sword. Nice. Now swords, interestingly, are a resource and a resource harvesting level. So it adds gear level, which is basically the actual level. The only thing is gear level. There's no level levels. Um, so it's all equipment based. It has a durability on it. So we're now gear level three or level three, essentially. There you see, level three, gear level three, because we've equipped this one sword. Uh, 5.2 physical power, 25% damage to vegetation is damage. So, slash damage, greater effect on vegetation and thickets. So now we can harvest plant fibers and lumber. Yeah. Chop down a tree with a sword, you say. Look, and there's a rat in the tree. Rats are interesting because they can, can be consumed to gain a small amount of blood. Alters your blood type to frailed, which we already have, so we could even eat this rat right now. And we get a little bit of blood. But look, monsters respawn. Regardless of whether we're here or there. So, let's get a wiggle on. Pick up all these bones. We need to kill another enemy with our bone sword. We might as well bonk things as we walk around. Look, we can even get stoned. Careful, since right there though. Luckily, it's almost nighttime. Dusk approaches. Man, I love watching numbers. You want to break your sword made of bone? This is how you do it. Hello, lumbering enemy. You seem 
trifle out of sorts. Nice. And there's our third bad guy. Now we can make a bone ring. Crafting. Bone ring. Magic sources increase magic level and boost the power of spells. 5.2% spell power. Nice. Shadow bolt. And also blood rite. Interesting. But. They have like their abilities, right? So we'll have a cooldown. Hey, did you want to get bonked by Shadow Bolt? Nice. We'll wait till it recharges, then we'll hit him again. Stay back! Back! Nice. We've done it. Bone Guard Vestments and Vermin Salve. Nice. Those unlock bone axes. So once again, crafting. Do we have enough for the stuff? We've got 20 of 30 bones. Not enough for any of them except... Not the critical components, at least. Also, we need another rat. And more bones. So many bones. Come on over, rat. And another. And look. Whoa. You can actually rotate the whole world. things stack up for us. And there's so many rats. We'll need them all. Just wreck this whole graveyard. And it's sort of in the classic classic vein where like the last hit does all the gets all the goods. You get a little bit just for working, but then you can get a bunch more if you final hit, final uh, sort of the last bond, I suppose I should say. And as you can see, it's cumulative. All right, there you go. Okay, a bunch of rats. Whole mess of rats. Look, some tree bones. Don't mind if I do. So now, look, we got more than a stack of rats. Delightful. We can make both of them. So let's make the chest guard and queue up the leggings. Now we're down to just 10 bones. We'll need many more bones. These also need animal hides. Disaster. I'll have to find animal hides in order to make them. Does auto equip, thankfully. Oh, almost missed some bones there. Stones there, I mean. A bit of plant fiber, why not? Let's hasten forward. I don't know what's going on there. That's an interesting texture thing. Hello, I like your bones, please. Oh, there's a tiny little smidge of them off. Alas, it hit the non range guy first. Range dudes do sort of get uh, locked into what they're doing, though. After a while, they'll take aim and they'll just be sort of stuck doing it. Should I grab some vermin salve? I'm also going to drag these rats off my hotbar. Look, we can queue up two of them. <coughs> so sort of like Minecraft, your hotbar is actually right there and sort of part of your inventory. It's just on the top and things will automatically queue in there. But you can sort your inventory. Nice. So we got a couple vermin cells, so now we can save ourselves just a little bit. Should we start taking damage? Let's enter the Farbane Woods. Now this is the whole old world map. There's a lot of it, and it's actually kind of big, and you can choose the left side or the right side. Naturally, we'll choose the, the, the right side. I don't know if there's any particular benefit to either way. But we need animals. Oh, we must yump. Now there's a way to yump down, but there's no way to yump up. 
So we are forever out of there. Hmm. Bones. But wow, it's still the middle of the night. Let's go exploring. <coughs> so, now we have a map. Delightfully. And actually, you can see various things on the map. Here's a vampire way gate. And look! <laughs> we do zero damage to the animal. I think it's because it was retreating back to its... Ah, we neglected to feed there, but we did get a heart, a tainted heart. You can refine into blood essence using a blood press. Blood essence is very important. It can also be consumed again a small amount of blood, but alters your blood type to frail. And lights. Nice. Can we make bone gloves? We can. And even bone boots? Nice. Let's get those going. Just enough. Put our gloves on automatically. Very nice. Oh, a scuffle. So we can also feed and start drinking blood. So now we have 9%. And we've fed, so now our blood pool is full. It's no longer frail, but now it's creature. Still not the best blood, but better than frail blood. Additionally, since it's a creature, only 9%, but we get 3 to 15% more move speed. Nice. We'll pick up these bones and animal hides, and thank you very much. Let's use our... Again, we can drink blood or can abort, and just munch them. Let's claim that so we can now make some bone axes. We've already cut down the trees and it knows that. That's nice. But let's make some bone axes. Gonna get a little light on the old bones here. But now we have another weapon. Let's also move these hearts off. Great. So now we have an axe type weapon, which as you might expect, extra damage to wood. Which means we get less plant fibers, but more lumber. Also, all of these resources sort of respawn. They're sort of nodes, a la like, um, I don't know, New World, I guess? Where you have a tree stump and it'll just grow back into a tree. So like, Picking this stuff up, you really are not going to run out of stuff. Now, we can craft a mace and smash rocks. You can see where this is going, but we need more bones. Let's go to the graveyard. That was back over here. Also, even though this is a little vampire teleportation site and stuff, you can hold F to teleport, but you cannot teleport while carrying resources. Alas. These are all resources. So there's very little you can actually take with you. So it's better, like, if you want to run out and go someplace where uh, you're going to do some farming, and then you have to run back. But look, now we're up to level 10 just because of our gear. Nice. Let's bust down the old gate here. There's no particular better weapon, as far as I can tell, for fighting things. That is, until you get to the spear. Because the spear is not particularly good against resources, but it's specifically to make extra damage against creatures. Rolling in plant fiber right now. I don't know if they directly correlate damage. It also is not split, so I managed to hit three of them at a time. 
We're rolling in the goods. Of course, we'll need a ton of lumber. But our, uh, our level doesn't change based on our, our weapons, so it's just really the playstyle, whichever one suits you best. Or if you're farming a particular resource. Tainted hearts are still pretty important. You can't jump. Sag. Missed. Oh, missed. And he's resetting. Sad. Alright, let's press on before the night is over, which is very soon. But there's lots to explore and stuff. Like, you can just look back here. What's back here? Oh, whoa. The sword does 5 damage. Axe attack slower, but does 7 damage. 7 to 8. An unsullied heart. Nice. Those are a little bit fancier. These are good for greater blood essence. They're unsullied. So I think the DPS of like the axe and the sword and stuff are more or less the same. Again, it just sort of depends on what you prefer. Or if you're looking for any certain resource aside. Oh, here comes the sun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Now, any shadow will still save you. But you should be careful because, say, you chop down this. Oops. Thanks for the little indicator that there was some combat there. Oh. And the sun doesn't instantly burn. You get a little bit of sun defense based on your sun resistance. He's not quite dead. Which you can also increase over time, depending on what you've got with you. Some more skilling trons. Oh, arranged battle is it? Receive damage. Not bad. Picking up a lot of stones now, despite the fact we get all of that eventually. Do we have enough for a mace now? Maybe. One bone mace, please. In she comes. That being said, let's move ourselves once more, so we have our weapons all in a line. It should pump up on three, I expect. There it is. So, bone mace. Good for stones. Also, depending on the class of the item, the weapons each individually have skills. So I guess in that respect, it's a little bit like, I don't know, Guild Wars or something like that, in that the skills are tied to the weapon types. And of course, since these are just real basic babby ones, they're not particularly good. Let's claim that. Castle Heart and Borders. Nice. So now we can construct and interact with a Castle Heart and expand our territory by placing borders. We'll need a lot of blood essence for this process. So spicy! It's okay though, there's lots of shade in the forest. So now we'll sort of want to look for a nice site to build a castle. I guess we can look on the map for this. Because <coughs> look, you can build like a nice big open castle here. Maybe over here there's some good stuff. Maybe over here. Oh, the Gwarrawar of Monstrar. Whoa, let's feed. 11% is superior to 9%. Plus, it will top us off. Don't mind if I do. Some bones and animal hide. And do a little whoop. So, where do we want to build a castle? This spot seems huge, but I'm a little wary of it. Maybe over here to try to be a little bit more central? Maybe up here, even. Extremely central. To this particular area. Look at this amazing spot. Doesn't that seem good? It's really far away, though, but it's central to, like, all of us. Well, let's travel. Spicy. Oh, also, would you look at this? What's this then? It's a rock. 
Do you have a shadow? We'll stand in it while we smash it. Alas, our attack level is too low. We cannot smash this particular object with this particular mace. Only regular stones, for now. Maybe let's uh, set a little landmark there. Why not? We'll try it. Let's see if we can get over there. Oh, well, there's a bear. He do be fighting. He do be fighting some big level lads. Whoop. Now just because I'm level 7 and this guy's level something else, no big deal. Also, he's got rogue blood. Nom 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 nom. Blood type changed. Rogue blood. Still a bit mottled. But now we have a critical strike chance instead of move speed. Better? Maybe. Hard to say. 10 to 20 percent. Isn't terrible. Whoa. The sun does rotate. Started to stand out in it there for a minute. Let's whoop. You can still take sun damage as a whooped lad. Whoop. Whoop. Here's a little area. Let's press on. 290 M's. What's this? No doubt something we can't smoosh yet. We'll have to be a little bit careful as well, because what's in here? Is there already something here? No, we're just passing by a wolf den. Wow, that sounds fancy. A lad on the, the bridge? A thug. And now he can feed on a warrior. 22%. Delicious. Blood type change. Now a warrior. Increased physical power. Just plain more damage. Feels good. So we lose our crits, but we're just doing more damage now. Which will help us with resources as well. Let's steer clear of the wolf den. Whoa, and also the sun if possible. Huh, it's spicy! I to maybe grab some blood roses. Nice. Nearly nighttime now. Thank goodness. Another wolfie out there. An alpha wolf. Wow. Defo not. Probably not not nearly strong enough. But isn't it nice? You can see the sort of little points of interest. A bandit camp. You can get paper there from looting bandits. Potentially. We should watch out for wolves now as well. Alright, nearly there. I like how you can run with the thing. So huge centrally located area. Seems good, right? Where would we like to build our castle? Let's check it out. Ah, it looks like someone else has built a castle here before. A wolf? Have at you. Oops, I was too slow. Pick up the goods. A muse? Don't mess with the muse, man. Some more wolves. They seem to be stuck in the former castle heart. Well, don't mind me. We'll pick that up. So, there was a castle heart here before. Should I make another? And attempt to rebuild this castle? Let's. We'll make, build a castle heart. We need 30 blood essence and a ton of stone. Okay, we want to see... We want maximum buildable area. Large area. Considerable area. Hmm. We might have to clear out some resources first, which is fine. Feels a little Valheim you right? Lumber's actually probably our primary concern right now. But there's only so much stone around here. Again, not that it matters. 
all of these things will respawn until we clear out their spawnable area. So like if we build something on top of it, yeah. they'll go away. But if we don't, they'll still be there. So right now it's pretty chill, but just imagine, what if we were playing with 59 other people? You can imagine the scrabble for resources and area. Wow, that was a 38 feet. That might have been worthwhile. Well, it's fine. Also, we don't need an enormous castle. And since we're playing solo PvE, we don't really need to worry about things like chokeholds, choke points, things like that. Removing areas for... Because, like, if this was an area with other people, this is the only way up. So we want to sort of, like, barricade this so that they can't get into our base. We're not really worried about that right now. Alright. Large area. Buildable area. Considerable area. Can we get, like, a giga area? What about, like, monstrous area? Enormous area. The biggest area you've ever seen. Large area. Considerable area. And I don't know if it's being blocked by these things as well. Like, we can't build here because there's stuff literally in the way, but here. I sort of want to go right to the middle, though, which is like here. Alright, let's smash these rocks. Again, not that it really matters. I think you can also move stuff. Maybe not the heart? A bit rude. We weren't tussling. Didn't have to be like this. Blocked by environment. Probably like... There's a 90 now though. Smash this stuff down. It's gonna be fun because we're just gonna build a hovel after all of this anyway. Oh, I guess there's another tree directly next to it. So there's three ways up into this particular plateau. How about now? How are we feeling? 90% considerable? Feels good. Let's slap it down. Bam. Castle heart. Now we also need foundations, but those two will also take essence. And we'll just do a... Just do a little 9 by 9 here. Now, the castle's decaying because it doesn't have blue in it. Now it needs blue. This will last for 5 hours and 12 minutes. IRL. Of course, we're now out of stuff. But now we can get walls and structures. Protect your territory by placing palisades and construct a wooden coffin and a wooden stash. Alright. Low essence. We need to feed the heart. All in due time. Palisades. Just the walls, please. Now, here's a wall. Do we want doors? And where do we want the doors? Um, we can probably just put a singular door. Wow, it's a fancy plant. 
We'll need to use the sword against visitation. Oh lord. He, he real rude. I'm very strong. <laughs> Why did you not show up before, you hideous plant? With a skull on your face. Chomping. Oh my god, the range. He's so rude. It's quite the tussle. He's also breaking my stuff. Thanks for chopping the trees down for us as well. He's naturally very tanky because he's a plant who cannot move. Watch out for the snap. Oh my god, that was a big boof. Let's hit some salve. We need to heal. We need to heal bad. Don't shoot the castle hard, bro. Or my walls, bro. Whoa. Nearly dodged. Now, we can also use one of our other skills. To do that. Like, sort of absorb. I do like it gives us the tooltip on our uh, cooldown as well. Right on the mouse. See, six seconds, five seconds, four seconds. One second. Get on. Oh, not worth. Thanks for the stone. <coughs> Good heavens. We'd have to might have to use some more slav. Oh lord, he's disappeared. Oh thank god. I was really worried he was gonna just recharge his health. Slowly but surely. I have memorized your attack patterns. Hooray! Phew, jeez, that was rough. Okay, great, let's keep building. Walls. We'll put a entrance right here. Uh, we can't go through because it's uh, blocked by Palisade Builder, which is probably actually these things here. It says it's this, but it's probably actually these. Pinecone. Okay, next. Good. Now we can put a gate in. Nice. Back to walls. This one naturally obscured by trees. We'll chop down the trees. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we'll have to go feed it. It's almost daytime as well. Animal! We'll feed a bit. Animal hides. Not the best, but it's fine. Back to chopping. Of course, you don't have to make your house this big. We've just chosen to do it because we can. And the sun is rising on day three. Not a lot of shade out here. Getting spicy. Okay. Let's build some more walls. Now, palisades, sadly, 
don't really have any sun protection as well. We'll have to hide in the castle heart itself. And done. We can chop down the last of this tree. If we hide behind it. <laughs> but now we have a secluded little base. We can maybe even leave this tree up. We'll have a pine cone. Okay, so, probably the very first thing to do, chopped on that plant, is still need to build a coffin, a wooden one. Let's rotate it around, stuff it into the corner. There we go. Now we can sleep and respawn. We also need a stash. Great. You can also hear a bear tussling with something out there. Quest complete. Basic crafting and refinement. Construct and interact with a sawmill and a simple workbench. Increase our gear level. Okay, we need to get to level 15. We can stay in the shade over here. Maybe make our sawmill. Hmm. Where do we want it? Good question. Because now we have production, refinement, sawmill. It takes lumber to make a sawmill. Good lord, it's enormous. Oh, it's so spicy. Not to worry, we can move all these things later. We can also make multiples of them, which is nice. We can make a vermin nest for luring vermin into our castle. Crazy. All right, this is all we can do for now. So, a sawmill? Let's chuck in all the wood we got. 570 boots. We should probably also make some more. Oh, hold on. We'll need a little bit of that woods back, I expect probably should make some storage. Oh, we need 150 lumber, actually. Time to chop more trees. We can also just sleep. And this is the only way to pause. Because, like, uh, like Daisy or, or Rust or something like that, when you log out, you just sort of hang out there. So if you're not in your coffin, the sun will find you, unless you have a roof over your head. And you'll just become an unfortunate pile of ash. Of course you can respawn, unless you're some sort of hardcore that's crazy. But we can just wake up. Schwam. Stand on our little wooden platform here. Luckily, we don't break this coffin when we get out of it. Thank goodness. So we still need a simple workbench. Let's take a look at that. Crafting, workbench, we'll need planks for that. They're on make right now in the sawmill. It takes its sweet old time, doesn't it? So we can be harvesting while this is going on. Seems like a good idea. Get some spiciness out in the sun. We'll chop down our own shade. We'll just have to move over to the next one. And the next. Watch out for the bear there. Oh, we've been spotted. Oh, he's large. Large and in charge and smashing the furniture. Well, you took out a plant, though. Here, that'll probably help. Ouch. Ouch again. Also, you can see ahead of time, this is only a 2% creature. So the best way to deal with them, just do a moida. Great. Safe for now. Except from the spiciness of the sun. It remains spicy. So really it's just like a resource management simulator, isn't it? Pine cones allow you to replant trees, so you can plant them where you want. 
course these will grow back until we have something that doesn't allow them to let's retreat back to our palisade so spicy how are we doing? 10 planks nice and look have 500 more woods 95 woods not enough for another thingy that's okay we'll just stash everything in here for now here you can have some rats we should have all the rats for now maybe we'll keep these two make a bit more salve make sure we're, yeah solidly in the shadow I'll use up our two remaining rats good good and those resources are cute now take these stones put them over here seems good we can keep like one stack of each thing to start oh, we can just sort our inventory and then move the things we don't want in our inventory specifically out of it We'll definitely want to keep hold of these hearts. We have a little bit more blood essence for the thing. We can have bones as well. Some hides. There we go. Um, tell you what, we'll chuck these in there too. Wait, no, we need the planks. Because we want to build a simple workbench. Do we have room for it here? Alas, we do not. Would have been nice if we could tuck it in there. We can sort of put it next to the sawmill here. That's probably okay for now. All of this can be, uh, because we can dismantle it and we'll get a 100% refund so we can just move it at, at will. And now we can reinforce our existing stuff with sufficient planks. We don't have a spear at all. We'll need to make a spear. A bone spear. Y'all got some of them bone spears? We need 30 bones for a bone spear. Luckily, We've got some bones. Let's make a bone spear. The spear, of course, does damage to animals, creatures. Now, I don't know if human beings are considered creatures or not, but probably. Okay, feels good. We've got our layout. We need more planks, though. A little sawmill? I don't recommend you get this close to a sawmill, by the way. And now we can potentially upgrade some stuff. Increase our gear level. Let's do the spear first. A reinforced bone spear. And then probably, actually, the mace. Look, we have two bone axes somehow. Maybe it's because we have one on each hand? Ridiculous. Oh, we need to actually take them out of the workbench. So that gives us our spear and our mace. Because with those, look, they just need copper ingots for the copper stuff. And they're level 9 gear level, so we can just completely avoid making the other stuff. We'll make the spear and then, of course, the mace, because we need the spear to protect ourselves. And then we need the mace, because that's how we get copper. Whoa! Get back! Look at the range. Come on, sucker. It's nighttime now. Get wrecked. Thanks very much, as well. Thanks for getting wrecked. This looks like copper, right? And we can probably smash it now, right? Nice. Now we can get copper. And just like all the rest, this one will also recharge. I guess we might as well get more stone while we're at it. Huh. Let's Kung Fu flip down and get this copper here, too. Maybe it is split. Maybe the damage is split. Look at the difference. It does seem to be there's a primary one that's being targeted and you just get AOE for the rest. Interesting. It's about six each time. There's eight. It's got quite the range. Well, anyway, we don't really care about stone so much. Obviously, stone's great. What we actually want is copper. And as much as possible. Oh, I did that with my bare hands. Because I hit one. Oh, Lord, it's actually a dream. Run! 
Let's not tussle with the foliage. Oh, he's still intent on tussellations. We will continue to abscond. Behold, the combat. It continues. Are you tired of us now? He tires. Thank goodness. We want these two. Kawaii copper notes. Interesting. Very obviously based on cursor. Cool. But then there's also this. Gemstones. But we don't really have space in our inventory for all this stuff. Our one stash is full. Troublesome. Tainted heart and thanks very much. A poacher. Some paper, thank you. Papir. He's like, what is this strange structure just appearing in the in the forest? Have some more blood. Twelve hours now. Very nice. And again, that would normally perpetuate. And look, we can compulsively count to put things that we have in here to have even more. That's nice. We can sort the remainder of my inventory. Got a couple copper ore now. Can we build anything? Refinement? Copper ore? You need stone as well. Luckily, we've got stone. Hey there, would you like some fur nice action? That's a fur nice fur nice. And now we can get copper rolling. Here, have some stone. We'll sort that. We'll put all of this copper in here. Bam. Now we'll make some injos. This will give us ten of them. Nice. We'll get a couple extra as well, why not? You can also have the remainder of our wood. And we'll just chuck this stuff in here. We also got some water, interestingly. But this is only good for horses. Which we're not doing just yet. Okay, great. Only 12 hours left. Oh my gosh. Better feed it. Uh, what else do we need? Gear level. Even more gear level. What else can we do? A blood rose ring? We just need some blood roses. How many did we get? Exactly 30. Nice. Simple workbench. Please make me one blood rose ring, which needs a bone ring, blood roses, and plant fiber. We've got all of those things in plenty. I'll have that, and thanks. And there we are, gear level 15 with the blood rose ring. Six gear level instead of, oh wow, look, grave dust and mourning lilies. A nine gear score. Incredible. But now we need animal hides. Lots of them. Let's check to see if we've got enough. I think we've got more than a stack of them, actually. Yeah, check it out. 500. Let's upgrade all of our other stuff, too. Simple workbench. Can I have everything? There's also Night Stalker vests, but these need proper leather and thread. We'll have to hunt for this. Nice. We're still missing a hat and a cloaky, but... Ah, Valiant Strides. Claim! We've unlocked technology. Blood Altar. We'll construct and interact with the Blood Altar. Dominance. We need stone and blood essence. We can probably steal a little blood essence from the thingy. Hello, Castleheart. Can I have just a little bit of your blood essence? We'll split the stacks a bit. How many did we need? Like ten? Here, you can have that back. Alright. Built. Dominance. Let's build it right off the thingy. Nice. Blood altar. The alpha wolf. Let's track its blood. 
Sniff, sniff, sniff. I sense my prey. Yondar. Uncover knowledge of new powers by drinking the blood of a V blood carrier. We're level 20 now. We can probably do fairly well. We might want a new spear all the way, right? A copper spear? But we'll need 12 planks and 16 copper ingots. How many do we have now? Five. It'll take a minute. Let's go hunting. But as you can see, rather heavily resource management simulator. Of course, we can probably take away our little icon now. We know where our house is, but it probably doesn't hurt to have it there. I suspect we'll be led towards the wolf den. Thanks for doing all this work for me, wolf. Let's get these bones as well. Some more blood roses since we just used all of ours up. Whoa, and there's a camp over here. What's this? A bandit logging camp? Coarse thread and paper. Wow, and planks. Well, that's how we're here for yet, though. We're hunting the V-Carrier. The holder of V-Blood. Ooh. We will pause for copper, though. We need copper for all the next level of equipment. Better pick it up. Good, good. And again, these will respawn later on in life. We'll sneakily sneak away from these lads. Looks like it's in here. Ooh, spicy boy. Aha. Carefully now. Carefully. Fizzled out. Sag. Yeah, I sniff him. He's got V blood. Anybody else good? A 6% and then B blood. Let's see if we can pull him over without the alpha. Nope. Jump for the dash. Daytime comes on. A muse. The muse is on our side. He summons more. Disaster. Ah, uh, the sun. We're trapped for some reason. Why am I trapped? Is there water? We can't cross over water. And we've died. Sag. I could not see. Okay, we'll press X to respawn. Time of death. We were slamming. We'll press space to respawn at our coffin. And that's what happens when you die. Well, I totally meant to do that, of course. As you can see, hunting during the day is a disaster. We still have all of our bloodbound stuff. Ooh, oh, so spicy. But everything else that we've left behind is gone. So it's all in our body, way back over there. Let's see. Can we get to see how many ingos we have? <laughs> As we start burning in the sun for no reason whatsoever. And then planks. Stop it. Stop it. I don't remember how many planks we needed for the thingy. Castle Heart, save us. Not quite enough, I don't think, behind the workbench. No. Ah, a cloud, thank goodness. What do we need for copper? 16 ingos. There's not enough. Sag. Alright, well. We'll shove them in here for now then. Whoa. What are you doing in my house? Bruh. Oh my god, a golem. Dear lord. Dear lord, a stone golem. 
He's smashing up our place. No, please. I do not want. They left behind some stuff. He's leaving. Whew. Dear Lord. He sounded extra spookums, didn't he? A waterfelt canteen? Fish posh. Alright, let's make our way towards where we died. Because there's A, V Blood Wolf, and B, all of our sweet loots. Including copper, which we need for a better spear. Of course, that being said, some of those coppers may have respawned over here. Let's go check just real fast. I don't think we can drink this. We can, but I don't know if it does anything. Well, today we learned we can drink it. Okay, where was the copper? It was around here someplace, right? I don't think it's come back. Oh, it has. Th that one has, at least. Oh no, four. That's three ingots. Okay, we'll set these to smelt, and then we'll come back. Spicy, spicy. Run! The spiciness. Oh god, it's spicy. Huh, huh. Thank goodness for that cloud there. Alright. As you can see, the sun is no laughing matter. So spicy. There's some shenanigans going on over here as well. Oh, someone's fighting some chaos. Lydia the Chaos Archer, level 26. Oh my god. We definitely don't got the stones to mess with her. We'll steer clear. The bandit logging camp. We've been in there now. Hello? Bandit? Actually, this is just a worker. Perfectly normal person. Hello, I'm looking for all my sweet loots. Here it is. Our blood sack. Take all. No. No. No, the sun. Oh my god. Nearly. Okay, let's just make sure we're in good sorts here. Great. Full health, not so great on blood. We could probably do with some feed and... Want a normal worker? Num num's time. Look out, there's a moose. The moose is loose. Thank goodness. Good amount of blood. And the worker blood gives us uh, increased resource yield. Very nice. We might prefer the damage at the moment, but we'll take what we can get. Also, nighttime coming. Splendid. Our vengeance is nigh. Unless they've moved on. The wolf den. Sag. Alright. So be it. Back to the castle. We'll track him once more via scent. Pick up these tainted hearts, why not? Oh, a bone crossbow. Nice. We now have range attack available. Well, well. Uh oh. What are odds of this? Pretty, pretty bad. They're pretty bad odds. Watch out for chaos arrows and such. Anyway, see you later. <laughs> Disaster. We've procked Lydia the Chaos Archer. Hey now. Come on.
Right, a bunch of good stuff. Great. Bones and essence and hide and such. Why not? Alright. Hey there. Do you have any... What have you got for me? Ingos? It do. Enjoy copper. You can have some logs as well. Not many, but some. We'll take those. We'll stack them into our one and only chest. Compulsively count. Gosh, we love compulsively counting. Hmm, man. Got a lot of extra some stuff. Castle heart, you can have these. Hmm, hmm. Troublesome, eh? Blood altar. We'll track his blood once more. This time, Yondar. Once more past Lydia the Chaos Archer, I suspect. Wow, that was, um, a lot of blood scent. Actually, let's go ahead and swap to the copper spear if we can. Do we have enough stuff now? Because we need 16 copper and some planks as well. Might as well, right? Copper spear. Nice. And we'll open this up. Put these things back. Sorted so it's in some sort of sense. Here, we'll take this. You can have this. What else? Um. Gosh. We don't really use these. So you can have these. Not that it really matters very much. Will not quench your thirst, but it can be useful in other ways. That's what they say. Right, simple workbench. What have you got? A spear? Ah. And now we're level 20 still, but with a copper spear instead. Feels good. Let's put this away. Uh, we don't have the space. Hmm. Can we make another? Storage. We need lumber. Alright, hold on. We've put all of our lumber away. So be it. Well, it's blood bound anyway. Alright, let's try to go get this 1v blood. Ah, moved, are we? Now down this way. Perhaps towards the other wolf den? Oh, but it's leading us into the camp. Oh, we should swap our appropriate spear. 23, there we go. We were still holding the other spear, interestingly. I know, we're incapacitated. Rogue blood. Incapacitated. Aha. Uh -huh. Sheesh. Probably not worth the exchange. Some coarse thread. Wolf? This way? Vaguely? sort of sniff sniffs. <laughs> He's sniffing. Curses. Sniff, 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 sniff. Sniff, 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 sniff. Whoa, a bear. Creature, one percent. Pass. <laughs> Hey, listen, I'm just gonna walk through, hey? Don't worry about me. Pay no mind. There's some copper here. Look, you're leading me off a cliff. What's going on with this? Alpha wolf, there you are. Are you still? No. Yes. This is a terrible place. What an awful place to fight a bear. Nice get the little crit after the uh the warp away. Get some blood rose more here. Just a little bit of blood rose. Hello, Alpha Wolf. V blood carrier. 
And now we have a cool move because we have a fancier spear. He's become enraged. Watch out for these other wolves. Let's see if we can get them all together. The old health there. He's tired. Taking a nap. Ouch. Charger move? Take one of these. Hold on. Don't mind me, undead. <laughs> Gorse find the Ravager. Oh, great. I think we're okay while we're absorbing the blood specifically. However, <laughs> we'll want to run away immediately. Uh -oh. Of course, fighting the Ravager, you son of a gun. Don't think I don't know your game. This game is smash me in the face. Are you coming? He's still coming. Run, boy! Into the graveyard, yes. Perfect plan. Look at us. Undead running from undead. Ridiculous. Give me the old loop de loop though. Eh, <laughs> suckers. So long as we can avoid Gore Swine the Ravager. We don't want to be ravaged. We'll claim this the research desk. There he is again. No longer with his lads though, his lads have been shattered. We'll just wander into the wolf den briefly. And then right back out again. <laughs> <laughs> Sucker. Too wily five him. There's a little cave up here. I don't know how to get to it. By God, there it is. So yeah, that's sort of the gameplay loop. Oh my God, he's back again. Run. I don't want to. I don't want to taste the maggots. They're probably pretty gross, actually. Let's hustle. Hustle and bustle. Okay, I think we've successfully we'll sneak away from those lights. That was my shade disappearing. Got it, got it. Phew, well. Jeez. What an adventure. We've lived, we've died. We've upgraded. And eventually, you can even upgrade your hovel into a proper castle. And it'd be nice. And you can track Errol the Stonebreaker, a level 20. We should be able to take them on as a level 23. But it might be a little spoopy. Might be better to build up other stuff first. But that's the loop. That's the mechanic. Gather stuff. Store it in various lockers. Unlock new technology. Get bigger, get stronger, wander further afield, collect even cooler stuff, beat up cooler goons. Oh, look, we also have some other skills we can maybe look at now. Uh, the vampire powers, actually. We now have Wolfy Transformacion. We can become a hound. And now we run quite a bit faster as a quadruped. Very nice. But yeah, we'll leave it there for today. A little taste. If you like it, you can pick it up on Steam. It's about 20 bucks US, if you're interested. And uh, again, probably really blossoms uh, with other players, depending on what you prefer to do. Um, but a fun little time waster otherwise. If you like base building, collecting resources, managing stuff, maybe it's your cup of tea. Maybe check it out. But until then, I hope you enjoy. Until next time, friends, keep on cooperating. Bye. Get it. Get it, boy. You can get it. Get that tail.